Hey guys, what's up? This is Nonline Software, and today I'll be showing you guys how to make a working clock in Xcode. Okay, so I'm just going to go Xcode, do File, New Project. I'll do a view based application, and I'll just call this Clock. I'll just do, oh, sorry, Clock 2. I already have a file called Clock on here, so I, I didn't want to overwrite it. So first, I'm going to go to my .h. And I want to, after the first curly bracket, I'm going to enter and do an IB outlet, UI label, star, and this is going to be time label. So this is what's going to show what time it is. Okay, and then do IB outlet, UI label, and this is going to be AM or PM label. So this is going to tell whether it's AM or PM, as you can see. It's kind of uh, easy to see. So it's going to NS date space star current time semicolon enter ns date components and this would be date components and then I'm doing ns calendar star calendar and then doing ns calendar unit sorry unit and call this um, Oh, sorry, space unit flags, semicolon enter, and do an NS timer, star, update timer, and then an NS string, this is going to be seconds, and then an integer, it's going to be minute, comma, uh, sorry, hour, and then seconds, or second, and then save that. Okay, I'm going to go to the dot .m file. Oh, sorry about this. Okay, and then in the first part, we're just going to do dash void view did appear. And then do calendar space equal space bracket bracket ns calendar a lock bracket in it with calendar oh, identifier and this is going to be NS Gregor Gregorian calendar right there okay bracket semicolon enter and then you're going to do unit flags space equals space NS hour calendar unit and then space and then you're going to do the line and then do NS minute calendar unit and then do another line and then do NS second calendar unit and then do semicolon enter and then we're gonna do update timer space equals space bracket NS timer space start typing schedule press escape and look for Scheduled timer within time interval, target, selector, user info, and repeats. Press enter. Okay, for the time interval, it's going to be 1.0, so one second. Target is self. Selector is at selector. And that's goes, oh, sorry. Update time. User info is nil. Repeat is yes. Enter again. And then do self update time. Okay, and then we're gonna enter again after the prep curly bracket and do dash void update time. And do current time space equals space bracket ns date space date bracket semicolon enter data components sorry date components I meant space equals space bracket calendar components this is going to be unit flags and then from date is going to be current time bracket semicolon enter hour is equal to date components space hour bracket semicolon enter oh sorry this is supposed to be an equal sign right here Messed up there. Then we're going to do minute, space equals space, bracket, 
data compo date components space minute bracket semicolon enter and then do second oh. space equals space bracket data date components space second bracket semicolon enter and then we're going to do an if statement doing if hour is greater than or equal to 12 then we're going to do bracket am or pm label set text and then this is going to be pm bracket semicolon and then we're going to do an else and this is going to be bracket am or pm label set text at parenthesis am and then end parenthesis bracket semicolon and then after the curly bracket uh, we're going to do if hour is greater than or equal to 12 and then we're going to do hour is equal to 12 minus bracket or sorry parenthesis 24 minus hour parenthesis semicolon and then we're going to do an if uh, hour is equal to 0 this is going to be hour is equal to 12 and then lastly we're going to do if second is greater than 10 then seconds space equals space bracket ns string string with format at parenthesis you're going to do 0 percent i oh i and then parenthesis comma second and then bracket semicolon and then do an l statement doing seconds is equal to bracket ns string string with format at parenthesis percent i comma second bracket semicolon okay and then we have two more statements just doing if minute is is less than 10 and then do time label dot text is equal to bracket ns string string with format at parenthesis and you're going to do percent i colon zero percent i colon and then percent and percent or sorry parenthesis comma space hour comma minute comma second bracket semicolon and then do an else statement and do time label dot text is equal to bracket ns string string with format at parenthesis percent i colon percent i again colon percent and and then parenthesis comma hour comma minute comma second bracket semicolon Okay, and so what this last part did, it was just that it just makes it so that the first right here is going to be the hours, right here is going to be the minutes, and then here is going to be the seconds, okay? So if we build this, command B, we should get, um, okay, we have one error, and I just forgot to put a semicolon right there. So if we build again, okay, so it should work, so... Oh, we just go to resources, go to the viewcontrol.nib file. Okay, and I'm just going to drag in oh, two labels, so. I'm just going to do 00, zero colon 00, zero colon zero, 00. And then this is going to be the time. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. There we go. And then one more label just for AM and PM. So I'm just going to name this PM. Put that right there. And then just connect everything. Go to Files Owner. Go to the second tab. Go to Time Label and drag this to the bigger label. AM or PM label to the PM thing. Okay, Command S. Do Build and Run.
Okay. Uh, let's see one second. Oh, sorry. Right here is supposed to be seconds, and this will be seconds. If we build it one more time. There we go. And as you can see, it's 408, and it's also PM. So, if you guys do not, if you guys do not want to have the 24-hour uh, time, or sorry, the 12-hour time, all you have to do is just change this right here. And um, let's see, uh, hour is greater than or equal to 12. You, you just take this out right here. So, it's comment this out. And also comment this out. This is a, this is only if you want to have the 24 hour time, okay guys. So there we go, 16, and that's 4 plus 12 is 16. So it worked. And then also you should not uh, you don't need the AM or PM label just because you're using 24 hour. So that's how you put the clock into an iPhone. Thanks guys for watching and please subscribe. See ya.